Hello everyone, welcome to today's reading. We're gonna find out who is currently obsessing about you and why. So pile one, you're gonna choose, can't believe I'm falling in love. Pile two, you're the only source of comfort I have. Pile three, make me chase you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then pile four is not sure. <clears throat> All right, ooh, that one, <clears throat> that one got spicy already. <laughs> Already feeling some things with that one. Okay, well, let's actually find out. Pile one, can't believe I'm falling in love. Let's find out. Holy Spirit, help me channel clear and concise, accurate messages for the pile, for the people that chose pile one. <sighs> Who is currently obsessing about pile one? Let's get right into it, guys. Ooh. Oh, this person's kind of a headache. I, I already have a neck ache. Uh, who's obsessing about you? Whoever this is, you don't like them. I'll tell you that much. You don't like them anymore. You don't like them. Let's see. <laughs> Can you make it up? No, the fuck you can't. <laughs> Can you make it up? No, the fuck you can't. You don't like this person. That's the truth. Could be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. They're still talking to you, though. They're trying to get a hold of you, okay? This person is trying to maybe even throw money your way. Ah, yes. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This person's trying to throw money your way. Ace of Pentacles. Uh, okay, whoever this is that is obsessed with you likes to throw money at the problem. Let's find out your overall card that you chose. Yin and Yang. 22 could be important. This person is really, they like to throw money at the situation. Why? This person legit thinks that they missed out on an opportunity with you. Six of cups is a soulmate card and they think that you are, they think that you're yin and yang. They think that you guys are soulmates here. Queen of cups. This person could be younger than you, the star. I'd be very careful with this person though because what I'm kind of getting is, um, uh, what's the word? A clout chaser, a clout chaser. But they really are falling in love though. They're asking themselves this question, like am I really in love? Knight of Wands or is it lust? Is it love or is it lust is what I'm getting. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. This person wants to work with you because you make their image better. You make them look better. Oh, God. Why is this person obsessed? You make them look better. Period. You're hot. <laughs> yeah, they, they say you're hot. You're hot. Like, you're physically attractive. Like, you are incredible. This person thinks you're, oh, God. King of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. <laughs> Wow. Um, okay, yeah, well, here's the thing. They throw money at everything, okay? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, guys. This one's giving me a headache. Um, something about their hand. Like, my, my left hand just went numb. I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. You ever hit your elbow and it feels like your arm went asleep? Fell asleep? I feel like, I don't know. This person, like, they can't. I don't know, man. Nine of swords, eight of swords. Oh God, oh God. The problem is they're in love with somebody who fell out of love with them. And now you're, I heard you're too hot to handle. Um, pile one, this person thinks that you are too hot to handle and now you know it. Like, like before you were, I heard fumbling the ball. Like they fumbled the ball, but you were fumbling the ball too is what they're telling me. And then something happened and you had this massive, serious glow up and now they think you're too hot to handle. Like you're, you're hot shit and you know it. The star and the queen of wands, this person lo would look so good on your arm is what I'm hearing. Arm candy, they think you're arm candy, yeah. Oh, that's why my arm is so heavy. My arm, my arm. Something about like, they might have a lot of muscles or something or like something with the, I'm just gonna, you know, whatever. You guys do with that what you may. Um, 
this person has a lot of physical attraction towards you and now they have like nothing to show for it. It's like you're gone. They are talking to you though. This might be dreams for some of you. They are talking to you though? How, how is this? How is this? Cause I'm getting they're talking to you. Ace of cups, yeah. <laughs> Seven of wands, who's obsessed? The lovers, could be a Gemini or any earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, there's a lot of earth. Oh my God, so much earth here. Whoever this is, they have money, okay? They like to throw money at problems, but they have money, they have money. I mean, I can take care of you. I can provide for you. This person's a provider. Well, they try to be. I don't know if they were at one time for you and then, I don't know, something might've happened. They might've lost a job or something. They were really worried about finances before, but now they feel like they can provide. What does this person wanna say to pile one? Ten of swords. I know I'm a burden. I know I'm a burden. You can't make it up, guys. Seven of swords. I know I'm a burden. And they also know now they know now that you can see right through them too. That's why they're in this trapped. Wow, look guys, we have seven, eight, nine, ten of swords. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Shit, those are the worst ones too. <gasps> seven, eight, nine, ten of swords. And there's the page of knight of swords. It could definitely be an earth sign or an air sign. Hmm, they're learning something about you. They're learning that you knew everything all along. Ooh, yeah, I just heard da, 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 da. So it's something like they know that you know their deepest secrets or something like that. They're scared. They're scared though, that you might like relay a secret about them. What's a secret? What's a secret? Uh, uh, inquiring minds want to know. Eight of cups. Eight of cups. Eight of pentacles. Hmm. This person's definitely trying to offer you something again to keep you. Wheel of Fortune, it feels like money. It feels like money. Yeah, devil, Capricorn energy, yeah. This is like this person throws money at things and the secret is that maybe that's the secret. That's the secret that you know is that all they really have to show for anything is money. Interesting. Hmm. <laughs> I heard King Daddy. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse and the Emperor in reverse. King Daddy, and they're both in reverse. I, I'm just kidding. Like they're not. They're not going to be able to do much more than throw money at the situation. So th they're obsessed. They're obsessed because they actually are in love with you, and it's unrequited now. Uh oh, spaghetti goes. Oh no, what is that? They could be from across the pond. We could definitely have an accent, but wow, they are literally uh, in love with you. And now um, there's nothing to show for that. They are all by themselves, all by them lonesome selves. Seven of Pentacles. I've seen the, the, the five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of Pentacles too. It's like all this person thinks about is money. And that's their secret. And you know their secret. Queen of Wands. You're very intellectual, very, very wise. Very smart very smart and you're on to them now. It's like you might not have been in the past, but you are now. And, and they think you had this massive glow up and you're some hot shit. I'm hearing them say like, you think you're hot shit. 10 of wands, king of cups. They think you're hot shit and now you think they're a burden. <laughs> Five of pentacles, leaving them out in the cold judgment. You guys, I have chills. You're calling judgment on this person, yeah. No, it's over. It's over. Let's move right along to pile two. Have a good one, guys. Hey guys, those who chose pile two, you're the only source of comfort I have. You chose the card, Angel of Balance. This is somebody new. This is somebody new you're talking to instantly. I'm getting an R name. I heard the name Randy. Travel, very fun, very fun person. They like you a lot. It's new, brand new connection. I'm hearing the name Mark or Mathis or something like that, Math, Matthew. I don't know, the emperor. 
The chariot. Oh shit. Some about travel. This person loves to travel or something. Like they love. They love to be away from home. I don't know. That's kind of strange. You guys, some, some of you have um, a differing like um, um, belief on things. Like a whole bunch of things I'm hearing. Like a whole bunch of things. This is opposites attract. Their eyes could be blue or their favorite color could be blue. Um, opposites attract. Like this person's a homebody or this person's a traveler in your homebody or vice versa. Who is upset? Could be a Sagittarius. Oh, definitely. Definitely getting Sagittarius vibes here. Sagittarius rising. You guys could have a Sagittarius moon or something like that. Travel. Okay, God. They love to travel. Like, I, I feel like you're never going to actually see them at home. Like, they just, like, leave all the time. Yeah, Page of Wands, Six of Swords. Again, Six of fuck. They never stay at home ever. Guys, okay. Some of you are like me. Total her hermit. Homebody, right? And then this person's the exact opposite. Travel, travel, travel. Fun, fun, fun. Like, like doing something all the time. All the time. They are very reckless sometimes, even with their energy. This person could drive a sports car or they like to race. They love to go... Shit, I can't even keep the cards in my hand because it's just this person... Okay, you're going to have... Um, your hands full with this one. Okay, I'm really getting a youthful, young energy. Even if they're older than you, they're young at heart. Very young at heart. Um, who is obsessed with pile two? Yeah. Three of Pentacles. They could work with you. You could be in a work collabor uh, collaboration. I said <laughs> two of Pentacles. You guys are wondering, like, would you work well together with this person? Would you? Yeah, strength, you would. You would, but it's weird because it's like the dynamic. You don't know how the fuck this is going to work. Nine of Cups. All right, here's the thing. This person's really obsessed with you, and they're actually overthinking this as well. Like, like you're thinking, like, are we even matched? Is this even matched right? <laughs> I, I, I feel like this person's asking the universe, like, is this even matched right? Did you, like, they're asking God, did you, did you do this right? They, they can't really understand, like, why they're matched with somebody like you. And vice versa. You guys are completely polar opposites. The only major arcana we have is strength card. Leo here, Sagittarius. I'm getting a lot of page energy. Very young, youthful. Very young. Very young person at heart. Okay? Why are they obsessed? The chariot. You guys took a road trip together. You traveled together. They want to travel with you. They want to ride with you. They want to... They want to sightsee with you, okay? They just want to do like really fun things with you. Ace of Pentacles, this person wants to offer you like really cool thing. Death? <laughs> the lovers. All right, the advice here for this one is like go slow with this one or, or you know, maybe just like tell them like, hey, look, this is a little bit of a change for me because what I'm getting is Ace of Swords. You guys are a little, like a lot different, a lot different than this person. Um, there go, 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 and your no, 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 no is what I'm hearing. <laughs> That's funny. They really want to offer you travel, moving, maybe even moving in with each other. That's what I'm getting. They want to live with you. High stakes. This person could be, could be a gambler. They love to gamble. Yeah, that's what I heard gamble, an gamblers anonymous, so they could even be a gambler. A gamble a holic gamble holic no no that's not what that is guys i can't channel and think of that word at the same time a gambling addict a gambling addict there nine of swords eight of pentacles eight of cups there's two people another person we have here could be the gambler they both could be gamblers to be completely real with you one of them Another person's um, spying on you, watching you build your empire, your money, your money. They're very focused on your money, which is abnormal because it's not theirs. I'm hearing back off. It's not theirs. Your spirit guides are like, that's not their money. They can go grow their own fucking coin. <laughs> I say that and there's the ace of pentacles with the queen of swords. There's another person. There's another person obsessed with you. You don't like this one though. Mm -mm. I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe. No, no. I'm getting no on that. Nope. Nope. Six of pentacles. It's like, it's not their money. It's not their money. Two of cups, you don't have love for the second person here. You don't have love for this person anymore. And it's like they're, they're <laughs> watching your money because they think that you're going to give them some. I'm here. no, I'm definitely not. I'm not giving them anything. Devil, I'm not giving them shit. 
this person used to take advantage of your healing grace, your graces. It could The name grace could be important here, grace church or something. They used to take advantage of your money, your kindness, your, yeah. The empress could be your own mother, I heard for some of you, um, obsessed with you. Okay, let's see, I'm getting out of that energy because that one's, that second one I don't like. I don't like, I like this first one. This is a cutie patootie, this first one. Mm -hmm. I like it, see? You guys, this person can have a buzz cut. I heard buzz, buzz. You give this person like a body buzz when you're around them. Oh, it's so cute. They feel high around you. They think you're so fun. I heard of Pablo Picasso. This person either is an artist or you are. They think you're charming, so alluring. They think you're, they think you're charming. They think you're more charming than you're letting on. And they also think that like, you like to charm the pants off people. Also what I'm hearing is you are just like them in that way. They love it, they love it. They're like, wow, I think I found somebody more charming than me. Empress, they think they've met their match. The moon, ooh, very feminine. They love your femininity. Mmm, you guys make this person chase you. Yeah, that's what they love about you. They love it. They love that you you make them chase you energetically and physically and a whole bunch of ways. <laughs> you make them chase you. You don't chase them. This person loves, loves, loves your healing nature. You have like a very healing presence. And when you focus on them, they feel like king of the world. That's what I'm hearing. This is a new person. They love you. Why are they obsessed? I heard, why are they addicted? They're addicted to you. Two of cups. They're in love with you. Guys, you can't make that shit up. I literally just said they're in love with you. Look at that. Two of cups, ace of cups, king of cups. Can you make it up? No, you just can't. They're in love with you. Why are they obsessed? Because they love you. Super cute. Super adorbs. Okay, I'm getting the name Les or Leslie. They could say adorbs a lot. I don't know. That's so, that's adorbs. <laughs> They're in love with you, yeah. Nine of Wands. I'm hearing they're fighting for this connection. They're gonna fight. This person's not giving up anytime soon. They really love you, but they are really asking the universe, like, is this, this seems not quite a right fit. There, there's something not quite, see Seven of Cups. There's like an illusion right now. It's like everything's up in the air. They're kind of like, are you sure? It's like they're they're, they're asking the, the universe, like they're in doubt right now though about, not about their feelings, no. They're sure about their feelings. They're in doubt about your, your compatibility. They are, they're, they're a little worried about that. They're a little worried about the compatibility. It's like, can we make it work? Seven of Pentacles. They're gonna invest, they're gonna try. They're gonna keep going. They're not gonna give up. This person does not give up easily. Oh no, when they see something they want, they go after it. Queen of Cups, and they love you and your healing abilities. Okay, you have a lot of healing gifts. You're like a psychic or a shaman or healer or something. And you, you have like this really lovey, lovey-dovey energy. And they really want that. So, wow. Good for you guys. This is a real true keeper. It's just right now they're really questioning like, is, is this right? <laughs> I'm hearing, did we break the system? Did we, did we, did we do it wrong? Because <laughs> you guys are so polar opposites. Yeah. Um... One last card of advice for this one, because I'm hearing like you guys are so different. Some of you are even like, should I, should I like, you're never, you're never going to break up with this one. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're never home. I heard this person's never home. My, my neighbor just left the door. Uh, just closed the door. I'm hearing this person's like never home. Seven of wands, two of pentacles. I know right now you're both hesitant. You're both hesitant. Like, is this really the right thing? Kind of juggling this back and forth energy. Like, uh, uh, is this gonna work? Is this gonna work? It's going to. Knight of Pentacles. Go slow, go slow with it. Um, you're gonna learn how stable you guys are together. Like there might be some big clashes, but otherwise you guys are two peas in a pod. This is like the perfect relationship. It's just, it's gonna make you grow in a way that you didn't need, know you needed growth, okay? There it is. If you guys want a personal, all the information's in the description. I'll talk to you later, bye-bye. Hello everyone, those who chose pile three, make me chase you. This is the card you chose, storm warning. Ouch, I heard feisty, feisty. Who's obsessing over you? 
Um, I, I'm getting a woman in my mind's eye, uh, a friend, a friend, a frenemy, okay? I'm hearing a frenemy. Somebody that you let go of recently, you taught this person a lot of things and then you closed the door on them and now they're still kind of watching you, but it's really weird because um, they promised you they would leave you alone. This person told you they'd leave, but like it was an invite for them to chase you is what I'm getting. Like, what? Yeah, you said, you said like, I don't want this anymore. And now suddenly they're like, oh, that means yes. No, no, I don't think that's what that means. No, three of wands, you turned your back and now they're chasing you. That's what I'm getting. You can't make it up. You literally rejected this person. And I'm hearing in their deranged world, a no means yes. Okay. Um, although it's not okay, this person does not respect your boundaries at all. I keep feeling like you taught them something. Page of Pentacles, like Knight of Pentacles. You're, you're teaching this person something and so it's like they liked your lessons and they're like, they're not getting it through their thick skull, guys. This person is not getting it through their thick skull. And I'm hearing turtles. So this person could um, like turtles or you guys did something with turtles or something, I'm not sure. Um, they're chasing you though. Whoa, no, 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 no. Yeah, guys, I don't like it. I don't like it, Page of Swords, they're watching you. It's this, it's this obsession, it's like, it's really weird. You told them you're not giving much to me or something, because they weren't. So you said, never mind, have a good one, I don't want you in my life, and now suddenly they're chasing you. Ironically, giving you more energy now than they ever did when you were friends. That's what I'm getting. Honest to God, that's what I'm getting here. The Wheel of Fortune. Um, you threw this person off. This little, this little, like little, little cyclical thing you got going on here, right? You're, you're like, nah, fuck off. I don't like this. I don't like this. Ten, ten here. Ten, ten. And now they're giving you more energy by spying and chasing you than they ever did before. What kind of energy are they giving you? What, what kind of, what kind of energy, spirit? Ace of Wands. Pick me, pick me energy. I'm sorry, I'm getting pick me, pick me. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, three of pentacles, uh, work with me. Hey, hey, remember me? Hey, 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 remember me? Hey. <laughs> oh my God, I heard those, those seagulls from um, Nemo finding my, my. Look at that, the chariot, bitch, you can't make it up. This person's following you every, my, 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 my. That's, that's what I'm getting here. Like, this person has claimed you. They think you were joking. This person literally does not respect boundaries at all. At all. They have none. They have zero boundaries in their life, so they don't respect yours. Guys, no. This is a no-go. This is definitely not somebody you want in your circle, and that's why you dumped them. It was a friend dump. Four of Wands. The Lovers. Oh. And then suddenly they, I don't know, they have some sort of quick... Guys, I, I just heard same sex. If you're straight, this person is not and they suddenly have insane feelings for you. Romantic feelings even. Some of you were wondering, some of you were wondering, is this person straight or gay? Well, it turns out they're gay. And you might have had, picked up on it or something. I mean, I don't think that's why you broke it off with them. I just think that in, a, in the, like hindsight's 2020 and all of a sudden, you're realizing like, oh wow, they have like romantic feelings for me. Four of Wands, the lovers. Wow. Just like, yeah, they don't like men. They might like only women. And I think you're, I'm reading for a woman, I think. They like women. Guys, this person kept way too many secrets from you. When you were a friend with them, they didn't tell you jack shit. I'm here and I don't even know your birth date. I don't know your, your age or where you worked. I, like, you don't know much about this person at all. You don't know much about them. They're very secretive. This is kind of the friend, the frenemy that you really need to watch out for because this has given me um, like, like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what it's giving me, but it's not good. It's not good. It's like, uh, like, like, no, it's not good. They don't have boundaries. And so they don't respect yours, Ten of Swords. This person is a drain on everything, including your finances. A lot of you, if you keep this friend around, they're gonna end up like, being very codependent on you again, and it's gonna affect your money, okay? 
Oh my God, I split it open on the 10 of pentacles. You can't make it up. Guys, I swear to everything. I split this open on the 10 of pentacles with the nine of pentacles. This is go this person is going to mess up your finances again if you, if you let them too close, okay? You're way more focused on your business and they're way more focused on trying to find a lover, which I think you thought they were straight for the longest time, but they're actually gay. So they thought, they think that you're the one which makes sense now as for the Ace of Wands is the energy they're coming at you with. This is like a passionate new start, but it could be phallic and romantic in nature. I think intuitively you knew or something you were picking. I don't know. I don't know. You had your feelers out there. Yeah, this person's a gay and they're into you. And if you're straight, that's obviously a problem. This person lacks boundaries. Tell me more spirit for pile three. King of Swords, you don't lack boundaries, see though. That's what it is. You're teaching this person? You taught them as a friend what boundaries look like. But then, but then, it's like you were teaching them what boundaries look like in everyone else, and then you got like some weird vibes from them and drew boundaries with them. And now they're like, oh, <laughs> that was a joke, right? Yeah, no, yep, that's a no-go from me and your spirit team. They are like upset, fucking lootly not. We're not playing this game. This is fucking twisted. This is the kind of person who would skin you alive and wear your face. Watch out for that, guys. No joke, watch out for that. The hermit. Girl, go ghost. Go ghost. Pull your energy back, because this person would, no joke, take you out like a serial killer. Okay, look, look, look. It's the quiet ones you gotta watch out for. That's what I just heard. Very quiet very methodical, very quiet. This person, it's almost like a filler friend. You woke up one day and you're like, how are you even my friend? I don't know anything about you. And then you you broke it off with them and then later found out that they're gay. Yeah, King of, when I said that and the King of Cups in reverse, I'm getting they don't like men. They like you. <laughs> they don't want anybody else. They want you. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. They want you. Some of you didn't even know they were bi. Or, like, really? Really? You, you didn't know, I don't think. The fuck? The emperor, king of cut. There's something about, like, masculine. They're, you know what? They could be the mas. They could have been the masculine in this friend, in this friendship. And you could have been much more in the feminine energy. So, you know what I mean? They were in their masculine dominant energy. And so like now you're kind of, you're kind of becoming that. You're becoming the masculine now in your own life. Hmm. And getting away from this person, yeah. Yeah, any other message here for, guys, watch out for this one. This one's seriously dangerous. I'm getting the name Sarah. I'm hearing an S name. Steven, Sarah, something like that. Shiloh. Yeah, I'm hearing they act like they're shy. They're not. They're the king of wands. They're not shy. The empress. It's something about the feminine and masculine here. It's something about like, if you're same sex, this person was much more in their dominant masculine energy. Yeah, while well, you were in your feminine, right? And now you're taking charge. You're increasing your masculine power, your masculine energy. And I don't know, it's like attractive to this person. I would watch out for this one. This one's scary. I don't know why, but I feel scared. Normally I wouldn't say that because I mean, fear is an illusion, guys. Like fear, it, 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 no, nah, it's not real, right? It's, 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 it ain't shit, okay? But there is something really weird and, and creepy about the way that this person won't walk away from you. It, it's creepy, okay? It's creepy. This one's creepy. Ace of Wands, they won't give up. They're not giving up without a fight. You guys might need to do some cord cutting on this one, okay? They could be a Virgo. I heard whoever you think it is, that's yes, that's true. It's this one, it's this one, yes. You thought, uh, what I'm hearing is a lot of you, um, when you left this person behind, you're like, that's a little too easy. They just went away without a fight. Ding, 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 exactly. That right there should have been a telltale sign. That's what I'm hearing. They went out without a fight. Like you just said, okay, I gotta go by. And they said, no problem, have a good one. Girl, I'm hearing that is something fierce. That, 
true love. They think you are their true love. I'm telling you. Something right here. Something right here. Past life. Quan Yin. It's your Yin energy. You were in your feminine. Now you're in your masculine because you're 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 doing something. Start delegating. You started delegating into your masculine energy. And now they're laser fucking focused on you. The name Diana could be important. Or Deanna. Diane. Mm-mm. Somebody right here. Okay. This one gives me the heebie-jeebies. You, you stepped into your masculine role and now... Yeah. I'm hearing this person was just like, okay, bye. Sure, I understand. Have a good one. Like, no problem. Nine of Swords. Honey, listen. Something right here. You're a lot more bound to this person than you thought you were. You think you can get rid of them that easy? That's what I'm hearing. You think you can get rid of them like that? Oh, hell no. It, it's like it's like you guys thought that you were just done. Mm-mm. Honey, you still trapped. You still trapped, okay? 11-11, this is a friend. This is a friend, a frenemy, though. They, they tried to throw you off by being like, yes, no, I understand, namaste, we should part ways. Mm, this person's codependent as fuck and they are not out of your energy yet. You need to do some cord cutting, okay? This person is not gone yet, <laughs> okay? No. They want another chance at this. They want another shot. They want another, they want to stay around, okay? Six of wands. You guys are gonna get rid of this person successfully out of your energy, but right now, like, God, Keep your, I'm hearing, keep your nose to the grindstone. Stay focused on, on you. Stay focused on your job, your business, whatever it is you're trying to build right now, it's going to take off. But yeah, no, with this person's judgment, it, it's time. It's time. You got to cut the cords, honey. Cut the cords with this one. <clears throat> this friend is not a friend. It's weird. It's weird. This is a copycat clone or something. This one's weird. I got to say it. I didn't make the rules, guys. It's just weird as shit, okay? It's like you guys broke up with this person over text or on the phone or something. Um, some of you could have been at work or something. It, it, you're, you're like, oh yeah, well, it's over, it's over. No, it's not. Have a good one, guys. Good luck. Hi, guys. I'm Pile for it. Those who chose a not sure card, let's find out why. Who is obsessed and why? Why'd you choose a not sure card? Hmm, not sure. This person's unsure about you. Um, I'm hearing something about like geography or National Geographic or something about like world travel. This person's into history and geography and geology maybe even. I'm getting geo, geodes maybe. I'm just getting like geography. I don't know. They're into something really cool like paleontology or what is, what is that? Um, like excavation when you when you dig up stuff, you know, you know, I don't know they're into stuff like the dinosaur age and shit like that I don't know. I'm seeing like the world. I'm seeing globe. I'm seeing a globe Antarctica like deep hidden tre what am I getting this is like some Indiana Jones shit. I don't know This person's like really into you though. You know what I'm hearing Big daddy. I heard that For one of you this is like, this person has the capability of spoiling you, I heard, but they don't want to. I don't think this person wants to. I don't know if this, this person's obsessed with you, but they don't know if they really want to give to you. Let's see. Door to romance. It's so fucking weird. It's like, they, they think they want to, but there's something about maybe an age gap. I am getting that. For some of you, it could be like 22 years or something. I just saw, I just saw a big age gap here. This person actually has romantic feelings, but they're unsure if they're real or not. They're like, is this real? They're, they're wondering, do you feel romantic interest towards them? Like, did you hit it off as much as I did? Because this person really liked you. Um, I'm getting something about when you spoke to this person, you made them feel like they were king of the world or something like um, even maybe in a group of people, you made them feel like they were the only ones that mattered. You have the key to their heart, I'm hearing. But like, it's something about spoil you or something. They're like, they're not sure maybe if you like that. That might be what it is. If you'd like them to spoil you, because this person makes money. Oh my God, Eight of Pentacles. And the Four of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. Look, 
if this person, Miss, Miss, Mrs. or Mrs. Mr. Bunny Bags, right, were to give you something, an offer, they think you'd reject it with the Four of Cups. Hmm. They're obsessed with you. You made them feel like a million bucks. I don't know. What did you do? What did you do? Seven of Cups. You, you, you put them on highlight. Like, you highlighted something of theirs. You put them on spotlight. You, um... You gave them the floor or the mic. I'm hearing like you gave them, if you were in a group or something, you like put them on, on the spot and, and in front of everyone. They loved it, they loved it. It's like nobody's ever really listened to me until you did. But then when you listened, pile four, everyone did. You were like really fascinated by what they do. You were, you, no, no, no. I'm hearing you were genuinely, 333 on the clock, number 33 can be important here. You were genuinely interested in what they do for a living or how they speak or their voice or something. I keep hearing their speech, their voice. Like you actually heard them speak and, and a crowd heard them speak too. You were like genuinely interested in what they had to say. What did they have to say? Yeah, something about what they do. And I'm seeing the desert back here. I'm seeing like, something they do is, is normally hidden. It's hidden. It's, it's, they're a leader and it, it's like, it's like, it's a whole big daddy. You know, I'm getting big daddy here. Um, and again, with the seven of swords, I'm getting like, whatever they do, it's hidden. It's normally sneaky. It's not, it's not um, announced to a lot of people. Not a lot of people knew what they do, but they're really proud of it or something. And you like highlighted for them the coolness of them. They were cool. You made them too cool for school. You made this person so cool. But they think, they're, they think that you're unsure about them. Like that you wouldn't even pass, you wouldn't even like look them another glance. You like highlighted how cool they really are. You're like, nah, fucking way, that's awesome. I don't know what they did, but you were learning from them. This could be like a professor and you're a student or something. You were learning from them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're younger than them is what I'm getting here. This person wonders if you have somebody else. If you're, yeah, if you're taken, I'm hearing, if you're somebody else's prize and prized possession. God, this person would respect the shit out of you. They would, this person would basically worship the ground you walk on. Yeah. I'm hearing oil rigs or um, something about nature con conservation or something about outdoors, out, very outdoorsy or something like they work outdoors or something. And it's something they do and you were like, oh God, that's so cool. Hmm. Huh. I heard showboating, showboating. It's almost like you gave them the platform. You gave them the, 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 the floor. You gave them the, the time of day. Like you, you made this person feel like a million bucks. Nobody else ever did that for them, ever. You made them the coolest person in the room. That's what I'm hearing. You might've even made it so other people wanted them. And, and they're like, I don't, I don't want anybody else but you. You made it so that everybody else found them cool, um, approachable, sexy even. Worthy, yeah, worthy, very worthy. And, and, um, and this person's like, yeah, that's nice, but I don't want them, I want pile four. But now they're like, I'm not sure that pile four even knows me though, even wants to know me or something. Ten of, they're bur this poor guy or girl, they're burdened as shit. They are so burdened over this. They're really like, would you be interested in me? Whatever it is, they, they once considered themselves a nerd or something. Like, they were really afraid of how people viewed them and all of a sudden you took their geekiness and you made it into like, no shit. That's the coolest thing I've ever heard. And somehow, I don't know how you guys did this, but you're magical as fuck because whatever you did, suddenly everybody thinks they are the coolest kid in school. Like everybody wants to get to know them. 
Everybody wants to talk to them. Everybody wants to be their friend. They're, they're like super popular now because you made them feel like a million bucks. Oh my God. They, they honestly, they don't want anybody else. They want you. They think you're adorable. They think you're cute. They think you're the one. I heard ring size. They want to know your, this person would totally propose to you. I'm seeing a man down on his knee. This person would, would marry you in a heartbeat. Over just that. I don't even know. King of Pentacles. Bitch, you cannot make it up. You cannot make it. No, the fuck? You can't. They already have a ring picked out or something. Like, there is already a ring this person wants to give you. And we have the wedding card with the higher font traditional marriage. I'm telling you, this person would marry you in a hot fucking second. Look, Knight of Swords, the Chariot. If you just gave them the time of day, they'd be like, all right, yeah, yeah. Uh. What? I feel like, no, you guys, some of you are even shocked as shit that this person even sees you like this. Because it was just like really friendly, platonic. I mean, there wasn't really an exchange of numbers or gifts or anything, romance, nothing, nothing like that, I don't think. I think those are just in passing. This was somebody who just, you made in front of like even a small little group of people, you made them feel like the coolest kid in the room. You like stuck up for them or you helped them not feel bullied. I can't even believe this, you guys. You, 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 you. as the page, you were not even... I don't know. There's something about like you were very young and naive in heart and, and um, not a bad way, but just like, tell me more. And so how do you do that? And what's that about? If, and then you were like, well, how do I, how do I get one? Or how does that happen? And how does this work? And you were so cute. This is, I'm hearing this is a man's man. This is like, this is like a, like a big daddy. Okay. They have money. And you have charm and charisma. That's what I heard. They have money and you have charm and charisma. You made them look good even in front of other men. Like other bigwigs or something. Like, like if this is at work, you said something about like he, he, should, he should get a raise or a promotion or something in front of the bosses. And the bosses took interest in him because of you. Does, does this person want to say something to you? Because I'm kind of getting you guys don't talk or something. Does it, do they want to say something, my viewer? The fool. Dude, they so want you. Oh my God. They loved your innocence. Like the way that you so playfully loved to get to know them. You were genuinely interested in knowing about them. They're hearing like, I can tell when people are like, like I can tell when people don't really want to get to know me and you really wanted to get to know me. I, something about like this person fought for you or defends you or something. It's like you fight for them and they fight for you or something like that. You guys like defend each other. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sure what this is. This is maybe just resonating with one or two people, but I'm getting something about these hierophants. This is like the boss or something. This is only going to resonate with like one person. But suddenly I'm looking at the higher font as your person is. And your person wants to defend you and protect you against some really like ill-intentioned people. Yeah, judgment. Exactly. They want to like, yeah, like shield you, protect you from something. I'm not sure what, but there's something really weird and nefarious going on. What's some advice? Page of Wands, Knight of Wands. You could totally talk to this person. I would. I would. I would. This person is so into you. They're actually obsessed. What are they obsessed with? I think it's your innocence. And it's the way that you you really truly care about like what they what they do and what they're going through. Three of Pentacles. Like what they do. I'm not sure if there's some sort of teacher or something they're older than you i'm getting what they do for work what they do for craft you're interested in that <coughs> page of pentacles and you're like a student and they're a teacher and that you were learning from them 
They like that. That's cool. That's cute. Yeah. Uh-huh. Guys, this person is so... They would propose to you. No joke. They, they, this person would marry you. I don't think the sparks flew. That's what I'm hearing. I don't think you guys had a lot of sparks, a lot of connection, because, well, first of all, this was just like in passing. This is just like a friend, like a barely an acquaintance. Three of Cups. It could have been like at a party or a friend group. Yes, that's what it is. It's like a friend group. It's like a mutual friend of a friend of a friend or something. Wow. Too cute. This person is really adorable though. And I am hearing spirit say like, this would be this would be a really good connection, the Empress. Like this this could be really something. So if you guys are interested, this guy or girl is really interested in you. They'd love to hear from you. Ooh, I'm hearing, why don't you just do it? Why don't you just try it? What's the worst that can happen? You know? You know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But yeah, this person's super interested in you. They just don't know if you're interested in them, especially romantically. Like, would you, would you be, wow, too cute. This was by far my favorite reading. I think it's just because I love their energy. They are literally adorable. Guys, they see you as equally adorable. Oh my God. One last card. Cause I, I just keep getting they want to like propose. It's it's the weirdest thing. It's like it's like blossoming abundance. This could really look at this. Caring connections and the temple path. Look, 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 look. This is gonna be something. This could really, really be the one. The temple path, caring connection, and blossoming abundance. I'm telling you, they really want to give you things. Like give you, give you, give you something like a rose or a flower or a, a ring or something. Something from outdoors, I heard. It's so cute. Anyway, um, oh, too cute. I hope you guys end up with this person. They're so adorable. Um, they have your heart and I'm hoping you have theirs. Wait, no, 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 the other way around. You have their heart. They're hoping that they have yours. Uh-oh. Uh, but it is cute. And they have a really good personality and energy, guys, and aura. This is such a beautiful person. This is not somebody who would hurt you ever. In a million years ever, okay? No, never. Never. Um, but on the other side of not sure, we have, I haven't made my mind up yet. So there's something about like you being unsure. Anyway, uh, oh, I love you. I'm so happy for you guys. I hope this works out. And if you want to personal with me, all the information's in the description. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.